All right, guys, we're going to do an auto scan. Instead of hitting control unit, fake control unit, it's going to let me pick out which one I want to do. But I don't want to do that. What I want to do is go to auto scan. Now, auto scan is going to scan every single module and let us know if, the, like, for instance, the first one, engine control module, there's five faults in it. So we want to take note of all of this. Body control model, there's two. No fault, no fault, that's good. And we want to take um, take a note of all these before we disconnect the battery. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we did a complete scan. The engine control module has five. Body control has two. Uh, theft, deter theft, uh, theft deterrent module has two. The um, HA HVAC system has three. And that's... It. What's wrong? Uh, I want to see what that theft deterrent one is. Okay, system security control and learn mode, unprogrammed transponder. Alright, so let's do it with the key system. Alright, and what we're going to do is mark all these down, and you definitely want to do this. Write down all the codes you get. Go to engine control. There's five uh, trouble codes, read codes. <sighs> Current codes zero zero sixteen correlation seventeen correlation twenty intake cam position active solenoid. Uh, exhaust cam, solenoid, everything has to do with the solenoids, the actuators, the, just, we're going to be replacing everything, guys, we ain't take no chance. So let's write, we're going to write all these codes down, and let's get ready to disconnect this battery. We'll be right back. Alright guys, we wrote them down, we uh, cleared all the codes, but for our uh, HVAC system, one code came right back, and that's a hard code. Everything else is gone. Got here this cause and she did say sometimes the AC just goes out for no reason. Then it comes back. And we got a BO228. Ah <sighs> circulate position feedback circuit open. That would definitely cause it because when it's recirculating the air, it constantly keeps it cool. I ain't going to this guys. Don't worry about that. With that problem's there. We're we're not addressing that right now. Alright, so we're good to go. Let's get ready to disconnect this battery and we'll be right back. All right, guys, let's disconnect the battery. What you want to do is go to the passenger side back door. Open the door up. Go inside. And the first thing you want to do is you got a handle right here. Pick that handle up. Slide this seat all the way back. All right, next, you're going to... Let me get... Matter of fact, guys, let me get inside. All right. Next thing you want to do is... Can you see any light? All right. Say good morning, Civvy. <laughs> Alright, the next thing you want to do, guys, is take this carpet up. But before you do that, you got a little latch right here. Turn that latch straight up like that. Then you can pick it up because that locks this into place. And pull that back. The next thing you want to do is right here. It looks like somebody had this up because there's actually a screw missing right here. And this piece is not supposed to be out like this. This whole cover, just grab it and pop it, pop it up. This is supposed to be inside there like that. But, all right, put that to the side. There's supposed to be a screw holding this in. So I'm not sure what, what type of screw that's supposed to be there, but you will have a screw there. Once you take that screw out, you're going to pick this side up and bring it out that way. Because on the opposite side of this, there's two little latches right here that hooks up under here. And you don't want to break them. So put that to the side. And there we go. There's your battery. Yeah, buddy. I don't know why they put it back here, but yeah, buddy, anyway. <laughs> All right, what you want to do is grab you a 10 millimeter wrench or a 10 millimeter socket. Your negative terminal right here. Just want to loosen that up. Do 
loosen that up enough to you can see your terminal swing back and forth. And of course, it ain't doing it yet. That should be enough right there. All right, pick it up. Oh, sorry. Then you want to take this guy. This is very important. Just don't leave it like that because you don't want to take a chance and that thing coming back down, touching that, and it's going to short something out. You want to make sure you tuck this thing to the side of the battery so it's definitely out of the way. All right? Yeah, buddy. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Very first thing we're going to do, let's get this air cleaner out of the way. Now, to get your air cleaner out of the way, first you're going to unplug the mass airflow sensor. You're going to have a little uh, tab right here. Just pop that little tab back. Then you're gonna take a get a little tab right there. Squeeze that tab into the connector and unplug it. Cool. Then you're gonna take you a flat screwdriver. You gotta have a clamp right here that's hooking on, hooking the air tube onto the throttle body. You're gonna loosen up this clamp here, or you can use an eight millimeter socket or a five sixteen socket. You're gonna loosen that up real good. Then after that. You're gonna have eight. Why? I have no idea why they put eight screws to hold down this cover. I have no idea. You're gonna have eight T20 screws. You see one down there? Mm -hmm. So there's gonna be one over there, two. I ain't gonna, guys. Uh, none oh, around, around this the box. Yeah, around the box, guys. Especially, especially back here. This. Matter of fact, you come over this side. You can see right between here, there's two more. One, two, okay. How many total? Eight. Eight screws, I don't know. So, what I'm going to use, guys, make it quick for you. I'm going to use a T20 Torx uh, head socket with an 18-inch quarter-inch drive extension and my quarter-inch drive ratchet. But my extension is going to be wobbled. Now, you can probably use straight... But I like wobble and it can make me get into all kind of ways. And so you can see why I'm using an 18 inch because it lets me go all the way out here and loosen one of those up. So we go right there. Take that out. Now you don't have to take them out all the way because they're gonna be stuck in the cover, but I'm just gonna I'm taking this one out to show you. So you're gonna have eight of these screws, T20 heads. Alright, let's get the rest of them out and we'll be right back. All right, guys. My bad. There's only there's actually only six bolt screws holding this in. Once you get all them six screws, not completely out, but loose enough, you're gonna pick the whole thing up. And you gotta make sure these screws are out enough. Then you're gonna back it off the throttle body. And you see, notice how this hose just came off the thing of the. Let me get this out of the way. Watch this, guys. This is the, um, the evap solenoid to loosen this, get this off. Take that green tab, squeeze it in, and unplug it. Dang it. Actually, both sides. Okay, green tab on both sides. Put it to the side. And you notice how this is supposed to be a, like a rubber hose that hooks onto the top of the valve cover. Oh, see it. But this is very loose, and I'm surprised we don't have an, uh, a PO171 or 174, because that is definitely air coming here. That thing was definitely not tight. All right, so now let's take this whole thing out of here. And this is a good time to check your air filter. Make sure your air filter is yeah, it's pretty good. It ain't bad at all. You can leave that right there. All right, when we come back, guys, I'm going to show you the party line. We'll be right back. All right, guys. This is what I don't like about, I hate these systems. I hate them. Not the car itself, all PVC systems. You see all that grime and all built up in there? Look all that grime and all that oil. You know where that's coming from? Remember this tube right here we took off? Is that broken? No, it's not broken. That tube we took off? Well, right here, when the engine runs, it sucks air through that tube into, into, this, into uh, the duct and back through the uh, engine. The, uh, all that oil and all, but look inside there. Yucky. All that oil, guys, that oil and oil goes right back and burns through the engine. So there's no such thing as gas cleaning up, <coughs> cleaning up 
your valves and all this. There's no such thing in it at all. Because of all this oil recirculates back in there, no matter what, your intake valves are going to get cruddy and crummy. This sucks right here, man. I mean, we're going to clean all this up and all, but definitely want to take a look at that as well. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, now to introduce you to the party line. Now, a lot of you guys out there already know what we're talking about. Yeah, get that powder, get that party line going. All right, what you can do every time, especially when you're doing a big job like this, every time you take off a part, you put it in a line. The next part we take off, we put it in a line. We keep on going. So when we go to put this job back together, we start from the end of the line and work our way back. You don't have a big pile of parts everywhere, nuts and bolts everywhere. You can leave this job down for almost a year, which we have done that, and put that thing right back together. So that is the party line. Another crucial information for you guys. All right, there's the beginning. We'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is remove this plastic slash rubber big grommet right here. Um, from the way it looks, guys, it looks like there should have been another bolt over here. There's one 10 millimeter bolt here, but there's nothing over here. I don't know. So, guys, make this job quick for you also. Definitely get you a cordless impact. With the bits, they'll go and put you put your sockets on it. So I'm going to use that, and I'm going to use a 10 millimeter deep 3 8 drive. And what I'm going to do is get this 10 millimeter bolt out of here. Pull this thing back, and get it, get it out of there. Okay, no, this is it's not supposed to be, but it does. Good thing I pulled it out that way. If you see a little, see a little slot right there. So it looks like you got to go sideways, and there's a little tab right there, right next to it on the um, fuel schrader, right there that that's got to stick into, and then push down. All right, now take that 10 millimeter bolt, put it back in there. Every time you get a chance to do that, do that. That way you don't have a bucket of bolts around here or half the bolts missing when you finish the job. All right, you know what to do with this, guys. Where does it go, Sivvy? The party line. That's right. The party line. Yeah, buddy. Let's put this to the party line, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. The next thing you do, you're going to have a hose assembly here we're going to take off. This hose assembly goes to the brake booster back here. And that's all you have to do is grab it by the hose right here and pull it right out of the brake booster. Follow it around. It's going to a clip right here to a post. Just take it off from there like that. It's going to go around, switch sides. It's going to go to the intake right there. Twist that back and forth. So you might have to get a pair of pliers or something. Use, just get some needle nose and all. And you want to just twist that back and forth to break the seal on it. And then take that off. Yo, that, that's going to that's gonna suck if, th if this job, I'm going to have a hard time with some hoses. Pull that off. Now the last one, it goes around and goes to this valve over here, the pump over here. Now what you want to do is, you have a white little tab right here. Right there, you want to push that in as much as you can. That's going to loosen up the clamp and then slowly unplug it just like that. See that? So, let's take this out. Put this to the party line. We'll be right back. Alright guys, the next thing we're going to do is remove this upper hose right here. Go into the intake and go into the valve cover. Now, you got to be careful about doing this. Don't try to disconnect it from over here first or you're going to break it. Disconnect it from down there first. Now, hopefully we can get a good look. There's a little tab right there. Uh, hold on. A good deal. You want uh, something to stand so you can reach no, over? No, no, I can. It's, there's so many things in front of it. Oh. And then it's hard for it to focus. Okay, where's the tab? Oh, right okay, here. Okay, okay, I see it. Push that tab towards you. See how it comes towards you? And then you're going to be able to pick that thing right up. All right, once you got that, then you come out here. Then you can take this whole line, turn it clockwise because what happens is you see this on the side how it's flat right there mm -hmm. 
It's flat on both sides. You can't get that up right now, so don't try to get it. What you got to do is turn it, and then pick that line up out of there, just like that. Now, let's bring this out here and show you what's up. <laughs> All right. There's how, to, how it is right there. Two ears on each end, so you got to turn it. It's like, it's like that right now, and the hook's onto it. So you got to turn it, well, clockwise. Or if you can, don't curl it this way, guys. You might break this plastic line. So turn it clockwise and then up. Now this part over here, this is what I was telling you about. You're going to have a little latch right there. You wanna, That's all you have to do is take your hand, your finger, push that to the side. Because what it does is open that clip up and then slowly unconnect it. All right, party line. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here's our throttle body. Now, the next thing you want to do, we're going to unplug our throttle body. You got a little safety tab there. Just back that up just a little bit. Take right here, squeeze that into the connector, and unplug it. Just get that to the side like that. Walk yourself around. Then you're going to have right here. Do hokey pokey. <laughs> yeah, evap, the evap solenoid. Purge. You got a little tab right there. Squeeze that tab into the connector, and... Unplug it. Bam. Down to the side. Then you're gonna work yourself around. And then you're gonna yourself around. <laughs> then you're gonna have a 10 millimeter bolt right here holding on this whole harness. Grab your impact, which should already have the 10 millimeter deep socket on it, 3H drive. Go ahead. Take that bolt out. Move the clamp. Put your bolt back in place so you know it goes there. Then you're gonna have some Christmas tree. Definitely somebody been around here. These are supposed to be clipped one right into here, and this one is supposed to be clipped into there. That's not there no more. Um, okay, but we do have the one right back there. So what you want to do, take your real small uh, needle nose. You want to go between there Work it back and forth to pick it up. Switch over to the big ones. And you just want to bring that back and forth and pop that out of there. Push. It was in my way. Pop that out just like that. And all that is going to swing right to the side. It looks like you got one right here as well. So. Screwdriver or something. Let me try to pop that out of there. Dang it. That's going to be the first of many. <laughs> All right. I'm starting to get up under there. You know, I don't know, why they, I don't know why they put these things here, guys. And if it's your car, you probably just pulling it up and breaking it. <laughs> That in there and pop that out just like that. This thing just all this one this swings to the side. Oh, got about the mass the map sensor. Got the map sensor right here connected. Same thing as the purge valve. This tab right here, squeeze it into the connector and unplug it. Now all your harness should be away and out to the side. Cool job, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, now we're going to take the bolts out that's holding on the intake. You're going to have six 13 millimeter bolts. Starting off by the throttle body, you're going to have one, two, three. There's nothing here. And then on the other side, you got one, two, three. And then there's nothing right here. Now, what you're going to use is a 13 millimeter swivel socket. If you don't have this set up, what you're going to be using is a 13 millimeter shallow a 3H drive socket with a one inch extension. The reason why I'm telling you this is because if you just use if you just use a regular socket with your 3H drive ratchet, you can't really get in there. You need that space just to come up just a little bit. So definitely use that one inch extension. Because I'm using a universal socket, it takes that up right there. So what you're gonna do is go in there. And this is another good thing to get, guys. Get you a cordless um, ratchet. You things are great. Break it loose. And let's go to all six 
Ow, ow, that sucked. Got my finger caught in here. And get those out. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got all the bolts out. And we're going to leave them in there, guys. Ain't no use in taking them out putting them on the side. And move them to the side. This thing should be loose. Just take it up carefully. Bring it out. And there you go. Your intake is up. Leave the bolts in it. Definitely, guys, you're going to be getting new gaskets. Don't try to cheese on nothing like this. And another thing, guys, uh, um, as far as parts, please do not get a set from eBay. I'm telling you right now, it's going to sound cheap and all. They're going to be really cheap, the whole timing chain set. But too guys, good to be true. Yeah, believe it. That's one of them that's too good to be true. That's your warning. Don't be commenting in there and say, Tim, I put a thing on, and now it runs like garbage. No, I don't want to hear it. I'm gonna, No, I don't want to hear it. Definitely get you a good name brand set. All right, to the party line, this goes, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing to do, take your battery cover off, off here. The, the, the battery post is positive. Just flip that over. It's going to uncover that. <laughs> it's going to uncover a 13-millimeter nut. What you got to do is take your 13-millimeter deep, 3 8 drive with your 3 8 drive ratchet, and we're going to go ahead, and you're going to take that nut completely off. Bring this to the side, put this back on. You got another one right here. Take that off, bring it to the side, and put your nut back on. Let's put this to the side, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, for this part, you're gonna need your long, skinny, um, I'm using a Phillips, you definitely, if you can, use a flat. And now, um, I'd say it's about, get about, get about 12 inches on, on, the, on the part right here. Now, what you're gonna do, we're gonna pick up the power distribution box. What's gonna do that? Nothing. Huh? What you laughing about? Nothing. You ain't gonna tell us. You ain't gonna tell us. No. Why? Cause. Cause what? I don't want to. <sighs> I'm allowed to laugh. All right. So what we're gonna do is, uh, you know what? Let me get a get a better position on this. Uh, I'll be right don't, back. Don't try to ask me. Rue, what you laughing for? All right, guys. You see this tab right there, right up under where the battery post was. Now watch what I do here. Take mine. Now you're gonna have a flat screwdriver, and what you're gonna do is that black tab in there. See how I push that back right there? That's the key to this right here. Now we got one. This one right here, you don't have to worry about. There's no metal bracket there that's connecting to, so that one you don't have to worry about. Work yourself around. There's one right here. Let's see if I can. One right there. Then, the difficult one, right along this flat side right there, if you look down, you can, yeah. you can see there's one right there. You're going to be using the screwdriver right between the uh, radiator support and that. And then your last one is back here. And that's a big one. You see that one? Yeah. All right. Now, while you're over here, I need to. You can't see. Let me just get away from it. All right. You, you see, see me it? pull that one out? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna leave that one out, and then when we come back. You're gonna. I'm gonna leave this one because we're gonna start with this one right here, and you're gonna be in the front of the vehicle. All right. We'll be right back. All right, guys. You got that first clip out. You wanna pick up on your box a little bit. Let me make sure I got that clip out. You're gonna pick up on the box, the whole thing. Pick up on it. Keep pressure up then you're gonna go to this one over here pop that one out when you pop while you keeping pressure up and pop that one out it's gonna pick up a little bit more past that one see that then work your way around to the one right down here pick that out take this hand and pick up on that box Make sure that's off of there. And if you can see down there, you can see it's off that tab. Yeah. Then you got the last one. You want to get your screwdriver in there. Pop that out. Keep pressure on it at all times. Let me see. Just got to look in there. This takes, man, to take up the light and the lighting in it. You can't see down there at all. Pop that out until you can pick up that whole thing. 
picks up. Got it. All right. Now, I got it up, but something's holding. I see this one locked back into place. Pick that one up. Okay, the whole box is up. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got it up. Now, this whole cover right here at the bottom, we need to take that off. And all around, you're going to have little tabs. Little tabs right there. So what you got to do is pop those tabs out. And you can bend them out pretty much out of the way, as you can see right here. Bend them out, and you're going to start picking up, pu pulling down on this cover. Until you get that cover completely off. Take a little bit, go around and go around and keep going around. Oops, I just snapped that back into place. And we're gonna get over here and we gotta go on the opposite side. And these two over here. Alright, and once you get all of them out, that cover's gonna pop down. Guys, look at where that fur come. Where that feather come from? Oh my goodness, I'm about to jump up out of here. <laughs> All right, let's put this to the side, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, turn your cover over. You're gonna have three tabs. You're gonna see this right here. You're gonna just squeeze that in just a little bit, just to pop that up. You're gonna have one, two, and three. So you're gonna pick that up. Take all three, take that off. Then you're going to take you a quarter inch drive ratchet with a 10 millimeter deep quarter inch drive socket. You're going to have two, you're going to see two screws in there, 10 millimeter screws. Those screws plugs in to those plugs. So, like I'm taking this one right here, loosening it up. And at the same time, Pulling this out to unplug it. Oh, what the heck? Unplug it, and then we're going to do this one over here. So let's get this one unplugged, and you just keep on going until it unplugs, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got that out, and there we go, our power distribution box. Now, guys, if you're doing this outside like I am, what you want to do is take the cover, put this back on. This is the bottom half. This half right here is going to go on the party line, but this right here is going to go inside the vehicle. So as you can see what I'm doing, this is, going, this is just going to be a marker for us to let us know what's next. So let's put these in the line, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, now let's, we still got to remove, move our harness out of the way. First, this plug right here, which you want to have, you have a connector right there. You want to push that connector, that tab, into the connector, and then unplug it. So squeeze that into the connector and unplug it. Now this is the one that's a little complicated. What you're going to need is a very skinny flat screwdriver. Now first of all, let me show you what, what we got here. If uh, That's going to be really tight to see. If you guys can see between the two big plugs... Stop moving it! <laughs> you know, you know I'm, trying to get a I'm focus doing on this you're big moving. job right here and she's like this, yo. Yeah, I'll give you yo. <laughs> okay, we're in. Alright. Right where my screwdriver is, pointing right there, right in the center of it, there's a little bitty tab. You're going to take the screwdriver and you're going to push that tab towards the big connector. And once you do, this whole big connector is going to slide forward yeah, away from the big one. Well, yeah, yeah, the little one is going to slide forward from the big one. Hold on, let me turn this down. Oh, lordy. Okay. 
You can you believe this, guys? I'm gonna be here doing this job like this, and this. Oh man, you know, this is what's up. I All right. Can't work under these conditions. All right, so let's go in here, push that little tab towards. Can you see what I'm doing? It. Well, you can see your screwdriver moving. Towards the little one. Uh, and then slide that forward. Let me show you what we did here. There's a little tab right there. So this slides in to the slot like that. And when it goes back, it latches on to this part of the plug. So what you're doing is taking the screwdriver, pushing that in just like that, just enough to slide that off. You got that, Sivvy? Got it. All right. Now we can get this harness all out of our way. And if you want, you guys, you can swing it over here because we need to take off the valve cover and all that. So that's swung out of the way. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is this bracket right here that's holding down the power distribution box. We need to remove that. What you're going to need is a 10 millimeter deep 3 8 drive. And you're going to have two nuts, one and two. So we're going to get our cordless ratchet. And we're going to go in there. And let's remove those two nuts first. All right, let's get those done, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got those two nuts out. Now you have a 10 millimeter bolt right down here. Now I'm going to get a 12 inch 3 h drive extension with my 10 millimeter deep socket, and we're going to go ahead and take that bolt out. All right, let's get it out. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the bolt out. Take your bracket completely out and before we put that to the party line what you want to do is take your two 10 millimeter nuts and your bolt and you want to put them back to where they were so we don't lose those all right we'll be right back all right guys next thing we got the pad the driver side jacked up with a hydraulic jack and we got our jack stand for added for security definitely guys Definitely gonna jack it up, use a jack stand. And notice we're on concrete. So if you're not on concrete, definitely get you a set of piece of plywood. Don't get no particle board, get plywood for a secured base. Can I get some cardboard? Actually, cardboard would work if you're looking to commit suicide. Oh, cool <laughs> it beans. would definitely work. Alright, guys, the reason why we're doing this, these radiators suck, guys. Not as far as doing them. But they, this is the, I think these are the only radiators I've known that don't have a drain plug. Even if you look online, look up the radiator, you're going to look at the pictures, you won't see a drain plug. So to drain this out, we have to what? Take down, remove the lower radiator hose. Now, this is the suck part. The lower radiator hose is right inside of here. And you can see the clamp up there. And I hate those clamps. Can you see the clamp? Yes. Now, if it was a regular screw clamp, that's what I have to do. Get a screwdriver, put it right between here, unloosen the clamp, and bring it back. But it's got one of them sucky spring clamps. And to get to that, if you got that, that other tool, the one with the long cable to it and the spring, you can get to it. But being that we don't. So what are you saying? You want me to get that? No, I don't need that thing. We you don't do even that? use the one I give you. I bought I, you. I'm about to use it. But see, yeah. that can't get up there and do that. That's the suck part about this because of the way the clamps got to come in to squeeze like that. So this is what you're going to do, guys. Back here, you're going to have this little flap going to your fender well. You're going to pop out those two little clips. Those little clips, I'm going to, I'm using a little pry bar. You can use a little screwdriver. I'm using a Milwaukee pry bar because that's all these things are good for is plastic clips. Ooh, burned. Guys, guys, trust me. I don't care what anybody says out there. Milwaukee pry bars suck. We already broke two of them. And wasn't even really proud of things. So guys, the DIYs out there, you're going to waste your money by getting these pry bars. Definitely. And we got the Craftsman kit now, which is much better. This material sucks, man. And watch it break doing the clamp. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to get that right there. You're going to pop the center of it out. And a pair of wire cutters, well, you know what, I think that'd be better. Body paneling tools would help. Yeah, but... We don't have them over here, so. This is a bull. 
I know they like Tim. Are, are you seriously here fighting that little clip when you doing a, a timing chain job on this car? They said, <laughs> "How are you gonna do a timing chain when you can't remove a clip?" <laughs> All right, now that we got it out, some. Did you? Yeah, yeah, heck yeah. Eh. Eh. E okay, pop it out and bring it to the side. I'm gonna get my needle nose because I got this up a little bit. And we'll get that side out as well. And then also get you a drain pan. All right? We'll be right back. All right, guys. We got it off. We're going to swing this out to the side. The reason why you're doing that is because you're going to actually be able to take your hand, go in this way, and let the nets bother you. Go over to that clamp. So what I'm going to do now, let's get this thing. Let's so you see this light so I can see it. I stuck that thing in the bumper. That was cool. All right, so let's get our we got our pliers right here for these kind of clamps, and I gotta make sure I get this situated right. Okay, and let's go over here. I hate these clamps, guys, and I think I'm gonna change these when I get this off. Definitely gonna change these crummy thing. Alright. Alright, lock it into place. And back it off. Now I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that up there because I'm gonna actually take that off and I'm not gonna put that no more. Now the next thing you're gonna do is that hose is gonna be kind of tight up there. So right now you want to have get your drain pan ready. Get your fake pry bar, pry bar. <laughs> and you want to pry right at the tip of the hose. And try to work that, work around that seal to break that seal. Once you break that seal, this thing will come off with no problem. But you got to be careful because it's going to be uh, antifreeze coming out of there. Let me see if I can turn it. Alright, I did turn it. So, dang it, Nats. You know what? I'm going to have to just go ahead and fold this back. Am I? Let this come off? Um, yeah, yeah. You supposed to be letting me know. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, it's coming off. All right, guys, this time I'm going to make sure I get out the way. Okay. All right, let's let that drain, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I got, got my clamp right here. I am not putting this back. I don't care what. What's funny here, guys, look all... This is the antifreeze that came out of here. I mean, yeah, we got some that leaked out over there, but that's not a lot at all. Maybe it's still some in the system. I don't know. Let's just let this clamp loose. And that thing is garbage. It ain't going back. We're going to get us a different clamp. All right. Now we can let this side back down. All right. So let's down, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Next thing we do, let's get our expansion tank out of the way. Now, your expansion tank is held on by two 10-millimeter bolts. And it's got a hose connected to it. The hose is going to the top of the radiator right here. So what you want to do is twist this back and forth. And be careful because this piece is plastic. You don't want to break that or you'll be doing a radiator. So you want to just put that off just like that. So it's not safer to remove it from the expansion tank? No. Right. Because it's doing its job. You can't take off a hose. All right, so we got our 10 millimeter deep on our cordless impact. Take out two 10 millimeter bolts out. Pick up on the tank. The hose comes out from the radiator around the radiator support. Then take your two 10 millimeter bolts and put them back in place. All right, let's put this to the party line and we'll be right back. All right, guys, this is the right side of the engine right here. And we have as a plug, it looks like this plug is going down to the wheel speed sensor. It's got a lot of tape on it. Let me see it going on this way, be better. So I gotta 
Yours is probably going to be the same way. And I guess that's the tape so this plug don't drop down in front of the, the belt. All right. So take that off. Then you're going to have a, a little tab right there. Squeeze that tab into the connector and unplug them. All right. That's done. The next, we got our two VVT sensors and our cam sensor. You're going to have one VVT sensor right here. Take the tab, push it into the connector, and then pick it up. Yeah, not that easy, is it? Ain't that easy, Tim, is it? Because this thing sucks. There we go. And you see, like right now, I'm grabbing like this, and I got my, my uh, finger right here above the wires. You don't want to pull on those wires. So what I'm going to do now, take my other hand and pick up on the connector to get that unplugged. You do not want to pull on those wires. All right, you got that one. Now we go to our cam sensor right here. We got a tab on the top right here. Push that tab into the connector. And this one's going to give me a hard time too. And unplug it. And again, I'm going to get my other hand back here. Oh, right, something right. This thing has a safety tab on it or something. It sure don't look like it. But it does. No, it don't look like it got a safety tab on it. So why is this thing disconnect? You know what? Oh, I don't have my hose pliers. I have my hose pliers, but I have a needle nose. Let me get that plug out your way so you can see that. Okay. Try to get this needle nose in there. And that ain't gonna work. Because I ain't left handed. Dang it. got one more in the back. That's another VVT. Put that connector in and unplug it. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is disconnect our three coils in the back. To disconnect the coils, you have, this line is in the way, power steering line. Guys, if you have to move these out of the way a little bit, that's cool. Those metal lines can bend a little bit. For instance, bend that out the way a little bit, they that's okay. I mean, don't go crazy with it, but they can bend, so don't get scared, don't get nervous. Now, to disconnect your coils, you're going to have, you can see it better, this one right here, a tab right on the top. See how that tab squeezes down to the plug, and then unplug it. All right, so let's do these two as well. All right, let's get that done, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, now we're on the other side, the left valve cover. We got our three coils right here. Let's disconnect those. Again, you push the tab down to the connector and unplug it. All right, let's get the other two, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, now your harness is still not going to come off. It's got this plastic cover right here. This cover will not come off, so do not break it. What you're going to have to do, there's a clip that holds this cover in. Now, if you go to the, let's go to the front of the vehicle. And you're going to look right between here. Let me see if I can. Dang it. This is some bull. Suvian high ideas. Let's do the traverse. Let's do that. Let's show them that we can do that. All right. Right. You see my finger, Sivvy? No. Uh, yeah, a little bit. There's, you see a little clip. There's a the clip blue right one? No, no, no. Forget the blue one. Oh. A little black thing. See, I can pry that out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so what you gotta do guys is pick that clip out and that will pick up on that harness. And let's see if there's another one over here. Uh, 
Excuse me. What the? Well, I can't see. How am I supposed to see if you're moving me? Well, we gotta see. All right, guys. If you, if you're looking down here, if you see the one, yeah. go over to the other side, and you'll see another one. Right behind the uh, oil uh, dipstick. If you go right here. Right behind the oil dipstick too. Okay, we can see part of it. So you got those two. Okay. Did I pop both of them up? Yep. Alright, come back up here. And that harness... Oh, oh, wait, wait. Why am I losing focus? Okay, okay, we're good. All right, that harness will okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. get out of the way. And we got a harness going right around here, the dipstick. What you want to do is take your dipstick tube out. Let me get, let me get focus because I don't want this video to be bad. Let me know. What is he yelling about? What are you Because it wasn't about? going in focus and I wanted to make I'm sure. I'm looking at you. Ah, now it's out of focus. All right, guys, kind of messed up there. Sivvy kind of messed up with the recording. Oh, really? <laughs> Sivvy right. did. Take your dipstick out, get that harness, and put that on the other side so you don't break that. Next, you guys, get the whole harness right here. Let's move it over. On the side of that dipstick tube, and just like that. And if you want, let's put this uh, dipstick, um, the, tube, the dipstick, in the party line because get that out of the way. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, now what we're going to do is remove move the power steering reservoir out of the way. Now, this is what you're going to do, guys. Get some rags. Stick the rags up under there because you're going to have to lose some fluid. Now, what you're going to do is get your, this is about a 6-inch, 3-inch drive hose, and stick your bolt or something in it, to, or, or even a, a spark plug. Stick a spark plug in it. All right, now what we're going to do is... First of all, we're going to take this clamp back. Take our needle nose. Squeeze this clamp. And it's made to go back and lock into place. But it's made to... See, it's, yeah, it's supposed to oh. lock right now. But the dumb thing's not. Oh, that's why it's got the little hole in the middle? Yeah. So we're doing it like this, we can't really get to it and do it. Right. We've got to go like this. It's the most stupidest thing, man. It's like, it's like they're so lazy. Put a regular clamp on it, man. The clamps... Oh, man. Boy, I'm going to take that off. Need some yes, yes, I do need some... Yes, I, yes, I do. I do need some cheese and crackers to go with this wine. Because I'm going to wine all through this job. Oh, my word. I need the wine, then. You know what? You can do Somebody this. sent me some wine. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> You, you see what we go through, guys? We, we, you know how hard this job is. We yep. don't take that off. All right. Back that off. Now what I'm going to do is grab some pliers. Just carefully squeeze the holes and go back and forth. That's to get it loose. Now, what you want to do is turn it back and forth. Make sure it's starting to come off. Now, you stop right there. Get your... Where's my, where's my needle nose pliers? Hey. Get you some needle nose pliers or some hose clamps. And what you're going to do is back at this section about right about here. Squeeze that. Let's loosen it up. So that way it stops fluid from coming through this way. Now through that side, as soon as you pull it off, some is going to leak. That's what your hose is for. The other end, that's what this hose is for right here. You're going to put it up there and block that right off. Oh, genius. So you're going to go like this and... Can't see Dang it, trying to get us. And we put that on. And there you go. Look at that. Now, if you want, get us a bolt or something and stick inside here and take your vice grips off. Matter of fact, just in case I need that. Let's let's do that. And this is kind of long, man. I should have did this shorter, but oh well. What's done is done. Seriously. It is what it is. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, get a bolt to stick in here and take these off. We'll be right back. Alright, guys, we got that plugged off. Let's get our rag out of there. Now, we got two 10 millimeter nuts holding our reservoir down. One right here, and then on the other side, we have another one. 
So I'm using my cordless impact with my 10 millimeter deep 3 8 drive. And I'm going to go ahead, take both of those off. Swing this over. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Look how cool that looks. All right. Then, <laughs> put our bolts, our nuts, back up there. Why are you laughing at me? Why the heck is somebody laughing at me? You. Would you laugh in with me? Of course. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Next thing we're going to do, we got our upper radiator hose here. we got to loosen up this clamp. Wow. These are good clamps. Yeah, buddy, to whoever made those clamps. It's held on by 5 sixteenths on 8 millimeter uh, bolt right there, or you can use a flat screwdriver. But I'm lazy, so I'm going to use as 8 millimeter uh, sh deep 3 8 drive socket with my cordless impact. And that's all you do. Wait a minute, is that, a, is that an 8? What the deuce? Maybe you should have used the screwdriver. Oh, I'll, no, I, I'm using a 9. <laughs> Where are you gonna eat? Where the heck, man? Where's my 8 at? What's up with this, yo? Damn this it. is taking longer than if you grabbed a flat screwdriver. No, it ain't. Look at that. I'm using a 5 16 actually. Just like I said, same thing. Alright, loosen that clamp. What the deuce? Ah, oh, man. See? See what you did? Let's get that, get that clamp. Loose. All right, now still, we got to turn this, twist this hose to get this hose off of here. And that's going to be a little problem, but not for us. What you're going to do, guys, get you a small screwdriver. And what you want to do is wedge your screwdriver between the hose and the housing. And that's gently. What you, yeah, gently. Then what you want to break that seal. Just keep breaking, going around and break that seal to that hose get loosened. Do not stab the hose. Hose get loose now. What you say? What you say? I said host get loose now. <laughs> All right. Let's see if that's enough. And it's moving, but not enough. So we gotta work, still work our way around. Again, guys, be very careful not to puncture that, or you're gonna be getting a new hose. <laughs> you right. getting a new hose. Dang it. All right, let's take this hose off, and what we're going to do is swing that hose. And be careful with this, guys, because you, you remember, the other end of this is connected to a, a plastic radiator. <laughs> so just be careful with this. And this might be a good time to get your crummy pry bar <laughs> if you've got the Milwaukee's. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, ah, man. That spout was pretty long. All right, let's get this tucked to the side on the other side of this uh, AC line and that way it's out of the way look at that man we getting down there to the nitty gritty all right we'll be right back all right guys right now we're up under the car now you got your hydraulic jack and up here as you can see right there that's your oil pan okay you can see it Yep, yeah, part of it. Not the whole oil pan, but I can see exactly where you're pointing. I can see. All right, guys, what we're going to do is now jack up on the oil pan. But if you skip this part of the video, you're probably online right now ordering your oil pan because you just broke it. Do not jack this oil pan up with just your jack. You will break that oil pan because the oil pan is made out of aluminum. What you want to do is get you a nice thick piece of wood. I'm using a 2x6. You definitely want to try to get something like a 2x6. And what you want to do is use that between the jack and the oil pan. I'll make sure it's nice and centered in there. And you want to just pick up, just put some tension on it, just like that. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, now that we got the engine secured, the next thing we're going to do is remove this dog, dog mount, dog bone mount and the mount bracket. Now you're gonna, you're not gonna remove it from this bolt. We're gonna try to get this out for the whole assembly. We got one, two, three, 
15 millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna use my cordless impact with a 15, look at that blue, man. That blue look just super cool, man. Look at that blue, Zivy. Yep. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> 15 millimeter deep, 3 8 drive. Gonna go ahead. And it looks like that side is all higher than this one. So that means that bolt must be longer than this one. Alright, let's get another one. Alright, it does look like that. Let's, look, let's, let's, let's see if it's the same. Let's see. No, actually, both bolts are the same length. Let's take this one out. And let's try to work this out of there. Really? All right, now what we're gonna do, you know what? Cool, we're gonna have to take that off anyway. So let's put our two bolts back in here and our long bolt back over here. And we're gonna put that in the party line and we'll be right back. All right guys, now we're gonna do, we got our jack under there. Just gonna put a little more pressure on this engine just to keep it up in the air. And then, you know what guys, let's get our, let's get our water outlet out of the way before we go any further because this thing this thing is just gonna be in our way. So you know what? Let's look at that. Let's trade size and let's get some no 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 oh man that sucks. Alright dang it. Alright guys we'll be right back. Alright guys we're gonna remove this water outlet housing right here and this housing is held on by two 10 millimeter bolts. You got one right there and one right there. So I'm using a 10 millimeter deep 3H drive with my 3H drive cordless ratchet. And go to the other one. Alright, let's get both of those bolts out and we'll be right back. Alright, girls, guys, what I, I call them ghouls or something. Alright, we got both our bolts out. Both bolts are the same length. And I noticed little like grommets up here. I guess to keep the bolts in place or something, but we want to make sure we keep those in there. Now, this housing is going in, got an O-ring on it, pushing in to the intake right here. So, we're going to just work that back and forth and come out. And there's your O-ring. And you know what, guys? Take these bolts, put them back in here. These bolts will not go back in there because they'll be in the way of the cover. So we're gonna put these back in there, put this on the party line, and we'll be right back. All right guys, the next thing we're gonna do is just got this bracket right here. This bracket is the bracket that held on our power steering pump reservoir. So we got two 10 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna use my 10 millimeter deep 3H drive. And, dang it. What the heck is wrong in here, man? What the, it's a 10 millimeter? You got the right size. You know what, look how loose that fit. And I know that's I know that's not three eighths. Let me. This we got. I got. We use a Duralast one. Let me try it. Can you get a real socket? There is a real socket. You got a real socket? Let me see it. A Craftsman ten millimeter. What do you know about that mess? That's fit tighter. All right, but then I'm gonna have to use an extension. So I wish I had a four inch extension and I don't have one here. This sucks. I don't have a, a extension. Can I get to one at least? Oh yeah. And this one I'm gonna need an extension on. So I'm getting a four inch extension. You're probably gonna have a deep uh, 10 millimeter, way better than that crummy one I just tried to use. So let's get that, let's get that other one off and we'll be right back. All right guys, got the last bolt out. Take the bracket off. And this one, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put these two bolts back in there. This one was right up against that bracket, but it did come out. All right, put this in the party line, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, before we start, this is a Duralast 10 millimeter deep socket. Where are you going? Right here, so you can see it. If they can see the inside of it. Oh, I can get some light. No, no. Hold it still. Yeah, okay, we got you it. See how worn out it is? Yeah. This thing is now garbage. Um, I had this thing for about, I'm going to say a year and a half, but still, a year and a half. 
So I, I definitely wouldn't recommend. That's a long time. No, it's not. I, I wouldn't recommend those sockets. All right, now back to the job. Get you what is this? An 18 millimeter shallow socket. And this, guys, yeah, buddy. Look at that craftsman. I hate these. So I hate the etch sockets because after so much use, that thing disappears. Get you then. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. You bought me these. Uh, all right, so we're gonna remove this bracket right here. This bracket got two 18 millimeter bolts. You got one right there, and then you got one that's right inside there. So we're gonna get our ratchet, and you got your AC line here. And this is again, this is one of these lines. You can move it out the way a little bit. Pop. <laughs> like, tell I do what you said. <laughs> all right, and that one. And this one over here. All right, let's get both of those bolts out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got this bolt just about has one out. Okay, take our bracket up with the two 18 millimeter bolts still inside. Both bolts are the same length, so we don't have to get them mixed up. But we're gonna leave them in the bracket anyway. Uh oh, guys, look at that, man. We are getting down here. We getting down there, Sivvy. Look at that. It looks like there's still a long way to go. It sure does. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be right back.